Hello dear fans, friends and subscribers. Welcome to this cricket show, uh, the Cricket Happening Show with your host Ram. And as far as today's Cricket Happening shows, yes, definitely, I'm going to talk about India's very, very big win against England, where England had no answer on the final day. Uh, as I said, uh, they, they, they did some, they defied the Indian bowlers well uh, with the openers Hami then cooked the earlier day. But nothing of that was seen today uh, as they tamely, tamely succumbed to the Indians and uh, India registered uh, a very, very big victory. They won the match by, um, by 100 and 246 runs. Uh, and if you look at the England card, uh, they were uh, really, really reduced to nothing because uh, just 71 runs was added and they lost eight wickets and they were all out for 158. So just... Uh, uh, you know, uh, narrating the tale uh, of how England really, really collapsed here. So they resumed at the overnight score with um, Joe Root and uh, Ben Duckett at the crease, and all eyes were on Ben Duckett whether he could Ben Duckett whether he could really uh, get off the mark. And you know, he has been having his uh, real struggle uh, with Ashwin, and definitely uh, he was finding himself uh, absolutely at sea uh, against the spin of Ashwin. Ashwin was uh, repeatedly beating him and then finally uh, it was uh, Ben Duckett uh, who was uh, scalped by Ashwin. So Ashwin has actually uh, taken Ben Duckett's wicket every time he has bowled to him and this was one of those wickets of uh, Ben Duckett uh, when Ben Duckett was uh, uh, trying to play at a ball he was caught by Riddhiman Shah uh, for not so that was the first wicket to go um, and that made it 92 for 3 for England and after that we saw uh, Jadeja uh, turn in a, a ball uh, to Mo Moin Ali and of the inside edge Kohli picked up the catch he was gone for two and also and then a beauty of a delivery uh, coming in from the right arm of spinner Jan Thiada what a delivery it was in fact uh, it left a branch, uh, Ben Stokes even though he was uh, clean bowled by the delivery which uh, really uh, came in sharply uh, and uh, that is something Ben Stokes uh, definitely nodded his appreciation even though he was clean bowled he definitely um, just nodded his head to say that yes well bowled uh, Jayan Thiadav so uh, Ben Stokes was absolutely befuddled by the delivery uh, and Jayan Thiadav um, uh, picked up the wicket and this is all because of the ball actually spinning from the rough and that is the rough created which created a lot of problems uh, for the Englishman uh, but Joe Root was the one who was actually watching it at the other end happen and things were going on the spinners had struck and then the new ball was claimed uh, by India and Mohamed Shami uh, started off in splendid fashion he started testing Joe Root uh, by making Joe Root every time feel for the ball and what Mohamed Shami uh, was doing with the new ball was basically he was uh, balling in the right areas and he was also using the crease well. Sometimes he used to um, uh, come in an angle and bowl. Sometimes he used to uh, use the width of the crease, either going wide of the crease or coming very close to the stumps and bowl. So he, he, he really picked up a few tricks there uh, and tried to, uh, you know, um, I would say, uh, tried to uh, really, really uh, take out Joe Root's wicket. And it was very well done in that particular over. Uh, he had uh, bowled uh, bowled to root uh, in that over. He, he the five balls that he bowled to root was all different deliveries uh, at different wavelengths. And then finally, um, uh, Joe Root uh, was a goner uh, as this was a beautiful inducker uh, from uh, Mohammad Shami, which had Joe Root uh, wanting. He was, as I said, he was making him feel for the ball, and Joe Root was really kept under. Um, I mean, he was put under a lot of uh, pressure, one could say, and Mohamed Shami has to be given due credit as he picked up the big wicket of Joe Root, who was LBW for 25 three boundaries. But they still had to contend with uh, Jonathan Barristow at the other end, who was uh, really, um, you know, he, wa he was hitting boundaries and he was looking um, very good at the crease. I mean, he was not in um, any spot of bother and he was playing his natural. Uh, you know natural stroke making was going on if you see Ben Stokes he didn't play his natural strokes he he really decided to prod up uh, and in the prodding uh, you know he ended up with just six runs 
and after that it was pretty quick work Adil Rashid was the next to go caught Saha bowled Mohammad Shami for four uh, and then uh, Ashwin uh, clean bowled Zafran Sari for naught and Jan Tiadav uh, came in and completed uh, the England innings uh, by claiming Stuart Broad LBW for five and Anderson was given a king pair as he was LBW bowled Jan Tiadav for naught with Jan Tiadav getting three wickets and uh, proving very very uh, impressive uh, and Jonathan Barristow was uh, left not out on 34 uh, with seven boundaries as the England innings wound up for 158 uh, thus leaving the Indians victors by 246 runs and also taking a 1-0 lead in the five match series with the third test match coming up as far as the bowling was concerned Mohamed Shami 14 overs 3 maidens 30 runs and 2 wicket bowls splendidly I thought Umesh Yadav, 8 overs, 3 minutes, none for 8. Um, Ashwin, 30 overs, 11 minutes, 52 runs and 3 wickets to Rai Chandran Ashwin. Jadeja, 34 overs, 14 minutes, 35 runs and 2 wickets. And uh, Jayant Yadav, 11.3 overs, 4 maidens, 30 runs and 3 wickets. And Virat Kohli, as I said, he was the only player uh, who played with absolute, use, uh, absolute ease on a very, very difficult pitch here at Vishakhapatnam. Uh, and uh, definitely uh, it was, it was the, I thought it was the right choice uh, to give um, Virat Kohli the man of the match because it was a very difficult pitch to bat on but as I said the only player who looked at ease on this pitch was none other than Virat Kohli and I thought that uh, the man of the match was absolutely justified he truly truly deserved it um, and one, I, one thing one can say uh, as you know th in the post match press conference Virat Kohli uh, mentioned that he was really surprised at England's approach. Yeah, one probably thought that there was too much of a snowball, snow, stonewalling. They, they probably, uh, you know, they decided to go into a shell uh, and uh, there, there was no optimism on the part of England, one thought. Uh, and Cook decided, Cook and his watch decided that uh, they are not going to uh, go for the victory. Uh, on the other hand, they are going to. But I thought they were uh, too slow. Uh, so that is what my concern is. I, I mean, one can understand that uh, they wanted to, uh, if, if they had just prodded uh, and just got the score, uh, I mean, also, you know, um, keeping their wickets intact, just keeping the scoreboard moving uh, at, at some reasonable rate. And then, you know, probably look, look uh, on the final day, they could have looked at the situation and then they would have decided what to do. But I know this is a difficult pitch. But uh, one thought that the approach from the England uh, right from the beginning was a, a bit of pessimism. But uh, I mean, uh, one, one could understand if uh, they had really done this and they had taken the match all the way down to the evening and, uh, it, and it would have been like interesting thing where uh, England were trying to actually save the match, you know, draw the match. That would have been good. That would have been a fighting after all these efforts that were put in. Uh, of defying the Indian bowlers, uh, if that could have happened, then one could have really taken it. But here, uh, after doing all the prodding, uh, well, it really came to nothing. And uh, as I said, uh, they were just bundled out for 158 on the final day. So, uh, well, but uh, anyway, that is, uh, uh, I mean, as I said, there are ifs and buts. Uh, maybe I might not be completely right, but this is my opinion. I felt that if uh, in, uh, you know, uh, when, when I mention about it, I'm talking about the snail space at which uh, Hasib Hamid and Alistair Cook uh, proceeded uh, on the fourth day. If they could have shown, I mean, one can understand, they can't play a lot of strokes, but uh, at least they could have, you know, uh, chiseled in a partnership and saw to it that they were also keeping the scoreboard moving with some singles uh, and twos. So, so that was something that was surprising because they kept on blocking. Um, well, anyways, uh, so that is... Uh, something that Virat Kohli mentioned that he was surprised by the approach of the Englishman. I too was really really surprised uh, as to such a snail space approach on the fourth day uh, by Cook and Hamid. Uh, well as I said this is uh, purely, uh, I, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a very, uh, you know, I'm not a very big broadcaster or something here to uh, criticize anybody but this is my purely my opinion on this show. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, so India would be definitely having their tail up. So the second test, I mean, they have already taken a 1-0 lead with the third test match, uh, three more matches to come. And um, uh, definitely England, uh, I'm sure they're going to learn 
uh, from the lessons uh, that they have and uh, they are definitely going to be uh, a better unit in the third test match. Uh, so that is as far as uh, that is concerned. Now uh, since this gives me some time, uh, just uh, having a skimmer here, I mean uh, as far as uh, today uh, there was one more match which was played in the Tri-Series, it was between Zimbabwe and uh, Sri Lanka and unfortunately due to rain, uh, play had to be abandoned with uh, Zimbabwe's score being 55 for 2 after playing 13.3 overs. Uh, well, as far as the scorecard is, um, uh, the scorecard goes, um, uh, I'm trying. And before before I get on to that, before I tell you about the scorecard, uh, let me also just share a few news with you here. Uh, Miss Baul Huck, uh, the captain, uh, has been suspended for the second test uh, due to a slow over rate. But um, nonetheless, uh, he himself is uh, flying to pa flying to Pakistan uh, for some. Uh, uh, some problems that he's having in his family and uh, this news has come as a real surprise I mean the Scotland captain Preston Momsen uh, has retired at, at the age of just 20 uh, at the age of 29 uh, the current captain of the he recently became the captain as you know Preston Momsen was not a captain and uh, uh, and he has left the game to pursue a corporate career so uh, that probably is not good news for, for uh, Scotland uh, as Preston Momsen uh, retires at the age of uh, age of 29. Now, as I told you, uh, I'm just going to have a brief look here uh, at the scorecard, uh, even though it doesn't, uh, I mean, it's not going to be of any significance because I said the fourth match of the Tri-Series ending as a no result. So the no result actually, I'm trying to see uh, whether both the teams actually shared the points. For Zimbabwe, it is going to become all the more tough because the next match that they have to play it would be a must win. So Zimbabwe have got so they, Zimbabwe have shared the points, uh, two points to Zimbabwe and Sri Lanka have two points, and Zimbabwe 55 for two, uh, batting first after winning the toss. Uh, Chari uh, was run out for 11 with one boundary. Uh, Chibaba, uh, Chibaba was Chibaba played some very good strokes. Uh, one thought one one good boundary. LBW ball could have shaken up for eight. And uh, Craig Irvine uh, looked uh, very good uh, on an unbeaten 23 with 3 fours. The second Raz was not on 4. 55 for 2. Play was called off uh, due to rain. And I'm not going to go into the bowling figures. 1 for 17 for Kula Shekhar. Well, uh, as far as uh, uh, other cricket news is concerned, uh, I can say that in the Bangladesh Premier League, uh, the Afghanistan player Mohammad Nabi uh, played a very, very key role. Uh, as uh, they hunted a score of 184 uh, with a very very flamboyant uh, Mohammad Nabi, the all-rounder, uh, whacking the uh, bo bowling. Uh, just wanting to see, uh, basically it was Mohammad Nabi, uh, it was uh, Shittagong Vikings in the Bangladesh uh, Premier League uh, which uh, won the match. Uh, it was uh, uh, Kumilia Victorians making 183 for 3 and thanks to uh, Nabi uh, who really really uh, played a good hand. He made 46 not out uh, in the victory. He had company from Shoaib Malik who made 40. So it was a very good knock from uh, Mohamed Nabi which helped them uh, actually win the match. Well dear fans, uh, friends, subscribers, uh, I think it's a short cricket show today. Um, and as I said, congratulations to India for winning the second test. But yes, uh, the job is not yet done as we all know. There are three more test matches to go. So uh, definitely uh, India knows that uh, they still have uh, a job in hand to do and uh, as I said uh, uh, we'll have to wait for the third test match and uh, that's it from me your host Ram uh, for the cricket show for today hope you all uh, like this uh, broadcast of mine today and uh, hope to see you all tomorrow on my next cricket show until then it's good night <laughs>